Play along on Concentration weeknights at 7 here on 10. Why didn't you tell Fran the truth about where you were going? She just laughed. In the rain, I was seeking dreams I might not gain. I'm nothing without you, Jane. He's pushing her into a world that she's not equipped for. She's happy. I've spent most of my life wondering what it would be like to please you. Get out of my life, Mother. Get out and stay out. They don't operate. She could die at any time. Cutex asks Jennifer O'Neill about nail polish. It has to go on like glass, no brush marks. No other leading polish goes on more smoothly than Cutex. It's got to last, or I'm in trouble. No other leading polish lasts longer than Cutex. I want dazzling nails. Suppose someone kisses my hand. No other leading polish has a more brilliant shine. Cutex nail enamel in 43 colors. What more could you ask? You're snowbound, miles from anywhere. What should you do to survive? First, don't leave your car. It's your best shelter. Keep the tailpipe clear. Crack your window for air. And only run your engine and heater about 10 minutes an hour. Find more answers about driving in snow, rain, and fog in the Foul Weather Driving Book. Free from participating Shell dealers. Come to Shell for answers. When I came back to teach here at Bret Hart, these rooms and buildings all seemed so much smaller, measured against memory, I guess. And the kids, they all looked so young. Were we that young in 1965? We didn't think so. Sometimes I look around at these students trying to find a trace of the kids I went to school with. See that girl over there? Probably shy, a loner, overweight. Reminds me of Cynthia Keller. By the time she graduated, Cynthia had dieted herself down to a normal weight, but we hardly knew her. She remained an outsider, never joining any clubs, never doing anything to really distinguish herself. But Cynthia wrote poems. We were surprised when she became Cindy Kay. I suppose just as a time came when she no longer needed to hide behind those extra pounds, somehow it also happened that Cynthia Keller discovered she was someone special. I loved your poem, Cynthia. Oh, thank you. Don't look, it's Richie Carmichael. Tender my song, whisper my dreams. Tell me tomorrow what yesterday means. You wrote that, didn't you?
Cynthia, I wish I had your way with words. Somehow I feel we could have been great friends. I dug sitting near you in English this past semester and kept wondering how to break through to you. If maybe I could talk with you about things that... Five months after graduation, Cynthia was an English major at UCLA, still living at home with her mother and stepfather. Morning. Morning, darling. Oh, not a Maria Grasso. I see super maids undercooked your bacon as usual. You're looking very pretty this morning. Thank you. I'm showing the Miller House to that couple from Kentucky. Mm, again? Oh, for the seventh time. Him I could have sold in five minutes. Her I may strangle. The only thing worse than doing business with the incredibly rich is doing business with the incredibly dumb rich. Well, you can't have everything. Why not? I just want what I'm entitled to. Oh, don't let her aggravate you. Oh. Uh, Maria, this is terrible. <laughs> si, gracias. <laughs> Where'd you get that outfit, Sin? Don't you like it? Well, the color's not very flattering. Well, you bought this outfit for me yourself. I did. Well, the idea was you'd get a little suntan to replace that pallor required while ruining what's left of your vision on those books. Don't startle me, please, Mama. You know, Cynthia, when you were fat, at least you looked healthy. You're not still on that diet. You've been taking your vitamins? I don't know why I can't remember that outfit. I hate it. I'm wearing it for the first time. A date, Sam? I'm giving a report on Chaucer. You know, Cynthia, if you met a nice boy, you could invite him here to dinner sometime. Aren't you going to be late, Mother? Aren't you changing the subject? Yes. Goodbye, darling. Have a nice day. Bye, sweetheart. Right. Adios, Maria. Adios, senor. Why didn't you tell Fran the truth about where you were going? she just laugh. And with my luck, probably nothing will happen anyway. She worries about you. I think she spent too much time by yourself. It's always what she thinks. Doesn't anybody ever care what I think? Cynthia, you're the only daughter I'll ever have. And I couldn't love you any more if I were your real father. But I'm caught in the middle. I just don't feel I can mix in, even, even when I want to. And it's not you. It's any female. Even super maid. Even her own daughter? Any woman. It's instant competition. Try to be a little more patient. Jake Miller? Come in. Hello. Hi. I'm Cynthia. I'm Jake. Sit down, sit down. 